Hello everybody and welcome to episode 59 of the Artifacts Act. I'm Icon and we're going to go through hardships to get more Lunar Essence upgrades on our Body Cultivator. I'm going to see what I can do if I can manage to get the break we're going on Hao Zhao. And we're going to craft a Sacred Relic today. Let's start with that. And I'm going to use heaven's breath for that one so let's see what will happen here as far as i know it doesn't really matter that much what kind of artifact base you use but i felt like for an immensely venerated great law emancipation primordial ruler <laughs> a heaven's breath might be a sufficient artifact <laughs> titles giving me the giggles reminds me of those uh medieval kings and emperors all right now let's see there were more illuminated buildings that i could strip off their souls <laughs> yeah, that's just what it is goodbye illuminated rock it's only a strange rock now so we did already remove the soul gems out of these and let's see oh look at those beauties here treasures at my doorsteps the amount of magical artifacts lying around on this mountain is insane okie dokie I want to stay around when he finishes it. Curious, you know. Alright, it's breathing time for Miyushi, and here we go. So, the Supreme Pole Tribulation. It ain't really impressive yet, but... Let's see. Recall Sacred Artifact. Woo! Neat. That's a uh, special there. Okay, so I got this. I'm pretty sure that I can do more with that. So let's see. Can I build something new out of it due to that? Guard's Temple. So, did I already build a Guard's Temple? I highly doubt that. But I have a little bit of hate. So... I can't manage more Divine Residence yet. I'll wait until I have that breakthrough. I don't want to uh, generate hatred accidentally here. Oh yeah, but my buddy, you're supposed to be working on your breakthrough. Okay, now let's get back to Yushi. So, that's the left leg here. I just love to see the stats of the secret body right next to my uh, remold attempts just to make sure that I see the progression we get there you know Ooh, this is going bad so far oh yikes not a single charge oh well all right let's just do that again All right. Now, after that's done, we're going to continue crafting artifacts here out of unwanted items. It's one of my favorite pastime sports now. And let's get rid of a couple of manuals. Four percent luck. I don't need that. So we're just going to smelt whatever is going to be no longer desired. Increases elixir concoction yield. Well, I gotta say, this might be at some point interesting. 20% luck increase. This is. Wait a sec. 
appreciation of the first player to successfully challenge destiny with a character of the lowest talent eventually shaped tier one core and assembled and ascended actually not me what what is that where does it come from definitely want to store that because a 20 person block increaser sounds like a damn good thing so slightly extend lifespan no um well slightly increases artifact tier just getting rid of uh, some old stuff significantly increases spell power if i ever want to use spells i might be intrigued to take that pain endurance more elixir concoction yield now that i think back more closely about it i don't think that this is uh, anything in particularly useful Okay, wow, so many useless manuals. Soul Inquiry. I don't have that yet. Surprised to see that, but whatever. Okay, so finally we're we're seeing some some foot, uh, some floor here again in the uh, in the storage room. A Lushu has shown up. I don't mind Lushu. They are actually nice little fellas. We got so many soul pearls in that room; it's insane. All right, let's finally get back to artifact crafting. Makes me really happy to see that we're finally getting rid of uh, those old manuals. Okay. So. Well, let's see. If we were luckier this time. Oh, come on, you. Ah, here, finally. The last two of them. Nice. Just when I thought I'd be going and I'd be, uh, I'd be trolled one more time. Okay, so I got the left leg and I got the right leg. Well, the right leg can get some, some extra remold here. Okay. the world tales as far as i remember you need a stupidly high amount of uh, attainment for a bad so it's, uh, it's here i just have somehow not found that other world rift there but i think i just need to go to seascape to uncover it let's do that So, how are we doing? Nice. Alright, I'm pretty sure that I'll be able to get the next breakthrough done this time. Even fall abode people are attacking. Alright. Four grand artifact power on the first one. That's actually quite a lot. Okay, the first dude is bound. And the second one as well. Now uh, let's get C2 June into this fight and see. He's zerging down the chi of that dude quite uh, quickly there. Nice. I like that. Alright. wonder what kind of things I could still do to enhance June's uh, fighting power here. Is this really a tier 9 artifact with only power 1? I mean, it's a piece of cotton. What did you? What did I expect? But... <laughs> Feel pretty silly. Okay, so... Let's see. And this dude still has 4.3 million XP left over. 
We could do something out of that, don't you agree? I mean, the most uh, definite way of increasing the uh, fighting power here would be a another artifact slot. It's always the most powerful way of getting the job done. But let's see. Isn't there anything we could learn? Let's see. Artifact mastery. Seriously don't have that many uh, new things that I could teach him, huh? Wow. Well, sitting in oblivion does yield another artifact power bonus. Let's take that. Wow, I am actually surprised. Can it be? So I shouldn't have burned all those manuals with artifact power. Okay, lesson learned. <laughs> so how much power did we gain out of that? Now it's a, he's at 42 grand. That wasn't too much. So I could give him another breakthrough. He's now at Mizar level. But that would be... Oh, wait a sec. Requires adventure. Okay. So, we're going to go adventuring, as it seems. Nice. So, what are we going to get here? For the sect. Hmm. There aren't too many things that I desperately need these days. I mean, to some degree, I'm pretty sure that I'm just uh, horribly ignoring something. But that's a different story. No, we're, we're going to do one thing here. Let's go down to Wild South and Adventure there. Simply because I haven't explored that area completely yet. Just like that. Off you go, my little munchkin. I got a big bad body cultivator here, ready to smack everybody who wants to uh, invade our turf. So that's fine with me. Okay, now, wait a sec, here we go. Come on, don't be like that. Alright, that's a good start. Come on, give me the fourth one, too. Oh, no. So, well, the defensive bodies now are pretty much uh, equipped with that. So here's a couple of muscles that... That's bound into a... Well, that's not really a defensive meta. I'm using that as an offensive technique, don't I? Yeah, so... Not really gonna do that. The Stark Rootlex, though. Let's see. Here I have two charges, here I have three charges, so we're going to go for this one. Alright. Like I said, like I mentioned before, I'm really looking to for upgrades on the on the muscles that are part of secret bodies first. Or we go for that global dodge on other body parts, but that's gonna be rough. Like, every body part only can yield 2% of that global dodge totally. When every rank gives 0.5%, it's 2% per rank, not more. That's really not much. 6.9 thousand artifact power. Okay, they're going into bigger numbers now. Right. Bam. And let's tank that other dude as well. Let's start slapping. Alright. Let's see. That dude actually has half a million um G. So so, practically a pretty formidable enemy here. Yeah, she's, uh... She's lasting a moment. 
right, and uh, that other dude, compared comparatively, no enemy. Slap, slap, gone. <laughs> Alright, that dude had actually three artifacts equipped. Jeez. It's a lot. And they also dare to die at a point where I can't reach. Outrageous. I need to change that. Okay. Oh, come on, you guys. Are you again on my cursor, huh? Okay. Let's reload. Be right back. What? Oh, no, not really. You guys won't forget that part. Uh, it's a bad habit of saying be right back in those moments. Okay, got that bug off my cursor now. Mr. Dong, or Mr. Sho, I should rather say. Let's, uh, let's craft some more stuff, you know. Parasol wood bow. Ooh. That's pretty rare stuff, you know. Okay. An aggressive bear. A singular bear attacking my sect. Outrageous. Let's turn him into jerky. Right. And... There are seriously 18 million XP down there. Holy! That was about damn time that I went down there. <laughs> uh, okay, I can only build two wonders here. Building cost reduced by 20%. Learn from nature. Let's try that one more time. Yeah, there's only room for 20 million XP here. So, well, 11 million here, and I haven't even built that riverbank city. What a shame. Anywho, so my dude now has a extremely good... Mm, amount of XP here. There's not much more he could learn, though, in terms of artifact uh, mastery. So we're, we're going to be looking for some other venue. I mean, I really wonder how the hell I'm supposed to, to proceed. I guess I really should keep an eye out for, for new manuals increasing artifact power. It's really the only thing that I can't think of right now as an extra option there. Ooh. That one where it went actually quite good. So let's do this. <laughs> what a waste, but I gotta do it, you know. Four of the balls. Transforming a prayer coin into an artifact. Outrageous. <laughs> wow. It's a really dumb move, okay? Don't do this at home, unless you're really bored. Or curious, but, you know, you'll see what it does with me. And I bet it's gonna be crap, but... In games like these, where, where you can basically try almost everything, guess what I'll do? I try almost everything. <laughs> Sooner or later. Okay, but I mean, it's about time that the artifact sect does what it's supposed to do, so... Bloodthirsty muscle. Huh, <clears throat> no. Wrong body part. But I'm grateful for more Luna Frost flesh. Come on, one more. One more. One more. With a ring of blood. Reduces endurance. Ah, uh, no. Okay, so we gained another half person. Jeez. So, the dark turtle shell. There's room for more stuff here. Let's take that. I mean, that could actually do quite the transformation for this uh, secret body. 
which is suffering from a ton of lowered uh, success rating here due to the uh, external deformities that I had to learn. This might actually turn into one of my defensive bodies at some point. Oh, I shouldn't explain the situation. We're, uh... We're Toon Village. Okay, let's, uh... Let's send uh, C2 June to Ratoon Village and see what will happen there. Didn't I have a Talisman for attainment? Alright, alright, better look for that. No, it doesn't work like that, or I don't have it. But I thought I would have one. Alright, so let's craft one attainment increaser then. If I have that, that is. So, increases the divinity. Increases max divine residence limit. Okay. Should really consider that one. So let's see. It was either the heaven lent or the heaven sent. Hmm. I thought I had one of those. Here, heaven lent talisman. I'll have to learn that one. Let's see if it works like that. It would be awesome. Here. This is a pretty nifty uh, thing to have when you want to go for artifacts, uh, for adventures that need a high amount of attainment. Because attainment is basically something like uh, your... Hmm. Your prestige also. If you have a uh, really high attainment, other cultivators think you're you're the man, you know. Therefore, let's see. Let's give June this thing and send him meet the. Uh, Ancient cultivator. I'm curious, you know. Meanwhile, at the body cultivator's hood. So, immediately gain Lunafrost Flesh. Awesome. Okay, now we go that way. So, defense success rating jumped all the way up like that from only two charges of Luna Frost Flesh, so... Okay. We definitely gonna work with that as a defensive body from, from that point on. Because there's a lot of endurance on this one. Way more than on the weaker ones, but, I mean, that wasn't, uh, that, that co doesn't come as a big surprise to me. Like, uh, these, uh, high-tier secret, uh, or these, uh, secret bodies that include high-tier essences should be better than others. Otherwise, things wouldn't work out as intended, don't you agree? So, let's check that coin artifact. Infinite coin. So, it actually turned out into a 65 power artifact. It has an insanely high chi capacity. What happened to that, uh... Okay, that, at least that happened just 11 seconds ago, and that was the first time that I saw how something like that happens. Alright, let's, uh, let's send the body cultivator for some slapping. 
Take down Fuzzy Flame. Kick ass body cultivator. Okay, but um, check it out. So, cheek capacity here is uh, 500. That's already a lot. But yeah, I've never seen any artifact with such an insanely high chi capacity. So chi recovery 200 per sec is also pretty high, isn't it? Yeah. So this uh, this coin can store a crap ton of uh, of chi. It's a pretty good tank artifact, I guess. Would have thought. That's why I love enchanting uh, stuff that has high high levels. Okay. So, oh, I'm at the breakthrough spot. Nuts. Now, let's get into the, uh... Well, actually, it doesn't matter, huh? Okay, so then, then you can break through there. Do your thing, dude. A group of Crazy bull. Okay. Here, take some free food. Enjoy. Oh. It's pretty. Uh, that's a pretty funny uh, thing that keeps happening there. Okay. So search for the ancient cultivator. Okay, so I think I just spawned somebody. Alright, so he gained Lunar Essence out of that, I just saw that. Also, another question, but I think I already maxed out all of these. So, let's see, uh, nose 100, mouth 100, neck 100, yeah. Let's see, I have those lungs, 100, yeah, okay. I wanted to check if there's anything left that I could improve for breathing efficiency, but I don't. That's okay. Hey, there's more fighting to do. Okay. So that's Yao Guy cultivators. I'm gonna take them more seriously, you know? Yaogai cultivators are sometimes tremendously strong. Here, 8.6k. I mean, seriously, that is actually a pretty strong cultivator. If I look at what I uh, what I did when I started out with that game, this dude would have totally slammed my uh, my my sect into the ground. Okay, and you can already see it's also hurting my my dog a lot. So I'm going to attack that uh, golden core with the insanely high attack power first, because he's actually shredding my doggo. Inacceptable. Completely inacceptable. Alright, here we go. So let's hope I won't go out myself twice in one episode. Okay. Alright, I'm somehow not allowed to put them together on one cursor. It's maybe better like that. But I need to extract the valuable, valuable soul gems out of these. 106 anger soul gems on my stockpile. Nice. Alright, let's keep crafting. So, let's see. Turtle egg. Nah. But, let's, let's go for a soul pearl and see what we're creating out of that. I guess it's a massive downgrade, value-wise, but I'm curious, you know. It's more about the curiosity here. Alright. We got part of the... Dark turtle shell, right? Right. Okay. Luna Frost Flesh. So, 
took me up to 95%. All right. Wonderful. Yay. Another full percent of global dodge achieved. Also, we're gaining a lot of extra overcap success chance there. Alright, but I started running low on Lunar Essence, but, well, I learned a lot out of that. I truly did learn a lot out of this, out of this run. So, for example, I now know that you should always try to let your Cultivator breathe at midnight. Like, seriously, there's, uh, well, at noon and at midnight, or those juicy Lunar and Solar Essences, because I bet that the solar essence is being gathered at noon. Let's see. Here, can only collect it at midday. So, I'd say these are the two most important times of the day to breathe for your cultivator. As soon as he's somewhat good at uh, that, you should definitely go for this. Okay. So, Heavenly Reforges. I know that I can do these at some point, and we're being attacked by Exultant Sack people. Okay. 320 grand. That's a lot of chi. And. Come over here, doggo. Oh crap, I hate it when they do that. So, let's see. I can't really see whether or not I have attacked both of them or, or just one of them. So I'll have to move away. Their range is so effing high. Okay, so uh, let's just hope that I didn't accidentally tack only one of them. This could go really bad if so. But nobody's taking a insane amount of damage. So, seems as if everything was alright. Okay, good. Yeah, there's a lot of fighting going on today. Like, seriously. Must be the popularity of my sect. Okay. So, well, the Shendal Breakthrough does take a while longer than I thought, so, well, I'm not gonna wait for that for the end of this episode. Instead, we're going to take that Breakthrough as an opener for the next episode. So, thanks so much for watching, my friends. We're going to get closer to that sweet and juicy 100% or 95% global dodge chance. Little by little, you know, every remold counts. And we're gonna get there. Drop me your comments down below. Leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And of course, consider subscribing if you haven't done so. I'll see you soon with the next video. Bye-bye.